James Kaufman, World News Report today, July 25th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. How large was the far side solar flare that we had on July 23rd? The major far side solar flare, the biggest flare of solar cycle 25, just exploded from the far side of the sun. X-ray detectors on Europe's solar orbiter Solo spacecraft registered an X-14 category blast. Solar orbiter was over the far side of the sun when the explosion occurred July 23rd at 0 UTC time in perfect position to observe a flare otherwise invisible from Earth, although it did affect Earth. Quote, from the estimates goes class, it was the largest flare so far this cycle, says Samuel Crucker of UC Berkeley. Crucker is the principal investigator for STIX, an X-ray telescope on Solo, which can detect solar flares and classify them on the same scale as nose goes satellites. Other large flares were detected May 20th, 2024, an X-12 on the backside, and July 17th, 2023, an X-10 on the backside. All of these have come again from the backside of the sun, which is so strange. And at least two of them were geoeffective towards Earth, as you may recall. The current cycle's largest Earth-directed flare was an X 8.9 on May 14th, 2024, smaller than at least three far side flares detected by Solo. This means our planet has been dodging a lot of bullets. The X 14 far side solar flare was indeed a major event. It hurled a massive coronal mass ejection into space, shown here in a movie from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, Soho. The coronal mass ejection sprayed energetic particles all over the solar system. Earth itself was hit by hard protons over 100 million volts, despite being on the opposite side of the sun. Quote, this was a big one, a 360 degree event, says George Ho of the Southwest Research Institute, principal investigator for an energetic particle detector on board Solo. This event also caused a huge dosage of protons and radiation on Mars. Solo was squarely in the crosshairs of the coronal mass ejection and on July 24th it made a direct hit. In a matter of minutes particle counts jumped almost a thousandfold as the spacecraft was peppered by a hailstorm of energetic ions and electrons. Quote, this is something we can call an energetic storm particle or ESP event, explains Ho. It's when particles are locally accelerated in the coronal mass ejection shock front to energies higher than a typical solar radiation storm. An ESP event around Earth in March 1989 caused the Great Quebec blackout. So, that's what might have happened if... The coronal mass ejection hit Earth instead of Solo, the opposite side. Maybe next time, the source of this blast is rotating around to face our planet, and in a week to ten days from now, it will be directly Earth-facing. In comparison, the Carrington event was thought to be a, around an X-20. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.